Okay, YouTubers, I basically set out goal. Get everything all-inclusive, drill my own axle flanges to the new bolt pattern, and do it all for under $100. I went ahead and went with this one so far. I'm absolutely pleased with it. Okay, guys, got reset up where I can kind of take you through the steps of my madness here. So, in order for me to drill the pattern on the axles, I first have to have a drill press that will accept the axle in its length and hold it secure. The problem they have is that this hole isn't big enough to allow a axle out of a vehicle to fit through it. Matter of fact, that particular hole started out as this size, finger size. A brand new Milwaukee hole saw chucked it into the, the drill press and literally made a hole big enough in the middle of that work surface for the axle to fall through. The axle will come through here and set right on that work surface. This work surface has to be perfectly level. It has to be level this way, this way, this way, every which way you can put a level on it. It has to be right. What's gonna happen? You're gonna end up with wonky holes and the studs aren't gonna sit right. So basically I took and, and got everything exactly level. You can put that thing anywhere you want and that work, that work surface is level. <laughs> is go around to all the marks I made using my centered, if you remember, I used my purple pattern centered located using just a small flat rubber band around this boss center, whatever you call that, and then force this down to make it perfectly centered and use my transfer punches to locate my pattern. So what I did just now was take the drill press and just drill a pilot hole. One here, spin it, hit the next one, you know, get it in my little dimple. See, I just went around and hit all five of my little pilot holes. Hey guys, new day new approach. Um, I've abandoned the stepped drilling process. A, use a cobalt bit. B, slow your drill press speed way down. This morning, I have slowed it all the way down to 690 RPM. This is a Milwaukee cobalt drill bit. So, half inch, and I mean, it's cutting. I mean, anybody that's ever used a sharp drill bit knows when you see this kind of uh, shavings, then you're getting a pretty good cut. I started out using transmission fluid as my lubricant, and uh, it didn't seem to work nearly as good as the oil and the STP. So it is letting the conical shape of the drill bit kind of find its center. where it'll try to grab right as you start going through to the other side is when it wants to grab the most everywhere you see the dicum is a new hole nice and smooth cleaning up the flange so that we can mark our next pattern here is a visual representation of the blue dicum the rubber band that I'm using as a spacer for that purple lug pattern thing from Speedway.
because on this 88 register, it's literally less than a 16th or a 30 seconds of an in. It's really a small amount around the outside diameter that it needs to be centered, that space taken up. So I basically just found these in the kitchen, which is rubber bands that come on your US mail, mic'd the distance between these two holes, split the difference, may it set the caliper at one inch 25 thousandths to represent where the center of this area is. So then what I did was just took a straight edge and just scribed a line for the approximate center area in between the existing holes. So basically what I'm doing is aiding that purple pattern gauge to go over this rubber band that's taking up that little bit of slack, that literally 1 32nd of an inch or whatever it is that keeps this from fitting tightly. Find my reference, working this down around our rubber band and maintain our reference line. Because remember, once we get this thing pushed all the way down, it's not going to want to move. Get a equal reveal of that rubber band all the way around. Got a nice reveal. The rubber band is in, is equally in between the center hub and the uh, bolt adapter. My reference line is directly in the middle of my four and three quarters hole. So now we will start the transferring process. Make sure you're in your four and three quarter hole. Basically, you just get it centered in the hole. You can feel it being centered, All right? Hold it straight up and down. Transfer, it's that easy. Buy these at Harbor Freight, 10 or 15 bucks a set. Not a big deal. So now I've got a nice reference mark on all five of my five on four and three quarter holes. So we can start preparing to do our pilot drilling. Transfer punched onto the axle flange. Uh, you can see the dicom. You can clearly see the new pattern located. And then I will carefully, because this is key, you have to carefully draw, drill your pilot holes exactly where your, where your punch transfer. We're gonna let that drill bit find that transfer. Where is it? There it is. You can feel it. Once you find your hole, hold everything steady. Nice, even pressure. Let your drill bit do the work. And you'll notice I put a drop, a large drop of uh, STP oil treatment. Okay, guys, off camera, I cheated you guys a little bit. I did made an executive decision because on this axle, I was going to try the recommended drill a pilot hole then go straight to your half inch bit that's not really going to work depending on how big your uh, pilot hole is but if you look at the end of this half inch bit it doesn't have a what they you know how some drill bits will have a portion at the end that kind of starts the bit it's too hard to try to hit that small pilot hole I drilled and, and guarantee an accurate uh, hole. I did my transfer punch, did a small pilot hole, then I'm gonna end up using uh, the short, and I'm using the short unit bit because that's what I have to use to clear my work table on this drill press. I'm gonna open that up to at least a 3 8 Just put a little tape line on my unit bit plunged it you know of course you sell you let everything center you know I, like i said before when you're coming down you have move you can move this axle in a rotational manner and you just bring it down until that bit finds center here's an example of drilling this or enlarging this hole and i want to show you how this works because i can rotate try to get a hold of my handle up here so i can get out of the way when you come down, this thing will self-center. You can feel it with your left hand. As soon as it finds center, then you can just start putting a little bit of pressure. Basically, we're going to 
let it find its center. Plunge it. There we go. We got her centered again. Hold up. Let's try to get this thing wrapped up and see if we did a good hey guys, job. Here's the uh, down and dirty wrap up on redrilling the Ford Explorer 8 8 axles to the Chevy pattern. I'm absolutely thrilled with the results. Everything came out perfect. I wanted to point out to you guys. Uh, because I have some unknown variable in my setup, the holes in the axles turned out to be just slightly too big for the factory S10 studs. So real quickly, the factory S10 stud has a 493 thousandths root or shank with a 509-ish thousandths neural so the recommendation was drill the holes to exactly 0.500 or a half inch then the neural should uh, grip properly well something was lost in translation because when i hammered in the studs they weren't tight in the hole so immediately i knew okay we got to get a bigger neural to fix this problem went to the dorman website went looked through what seemed to be thousands of different wheel studs and found a 610-484 which gives me a it's 522 thousandths neural with the 12 millimeter by 150 thread they were longer these are two inches 28 thousandths long so I'll have to go back to my opened in lug nuts which is no problem because I already had those to begin with but I wanted to be completely honest with you guys. When I drilled those holes, they were above 500, a couple of thousandths, enough that it didn't allow that factory S10 neural to bite into the uh, flange like it's supposed to. No big deal, swapped them out at the parts store, came home with the new studs, everything was pressed in because it was enough of a neural that I couldn't, I wasn't comfortable trying to hammer them in with a small sledgehammer. So I ran up to certified cars. Andy and I were able to press them in. So here's your final product. Um, right there, I've got one of the axles showing you the five on four and three quarter pattern fits perfectly. Um, on the left, I have one of the rotors that I've opened up the holes to the three quarter size which allows it to work perfectly with the Chevy five on four and three quarter pattern. Um, I have my next rotor bolted to the work surface. I'm gonna knock that out with a unit bit here in a little bit after I make this video. Once you drill these out to the three quarter hole size, you can insert a Chevy axle pattern with no problems. Okay, pulled those lug nuts off, set them on the workbench over there just uh i had put those on these studs to protect the threads while i'm moving them around the shop same as the video once you open these up to three quarter hole size they work perfectly with the chevy pattern centered by the register on the end of the, of the actual shaft itself you're good to go so forty dollar bench top drill press fifteen dollar cobalt built bit I uh, got a $5 plastic pattern from Speedway, made it fit the register on the end of the axle shaft with a rubber band that I uh, basically got free from the post office on wrapped around mail. There you go. That's how I was able to properly locate, transfer punch the uh, pattern in the areas that I wanted it to be in and drill it at home. So now I've got a little bit of money invested. I now have a useful tool added to my shop because I have a little drill press that I can use. Note to self, it takes forever to hole saw a two inch hole in a cast iron work surface. Always, always make sure your work surface is exa exactly level, forward, back, side to side. So. There's the wrap up guys. I wanted to try to make it short and sweet. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. I enjoy helping people out. Hopefully you guys can like, share, subscribe, click the little bell. Appreciate it guys.